Hi, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are looking at combining like terms. First, we need to talk about what terms are. All right, terms can be uh, numbers all by themselves, like the six over here. Terms can be variables by themselves, like the y right here. All right, that can be positive or negative. Terms can also be combinations of variables and numbers, which we'll call constants. 3x is a term, 4w to the third power, uh, d divided by 2. Right, terms can be uh, fractions. This is actually the same thing as half of a d. Those are the same. And then we've got a negative k squared, or negative k to the second power. These are all examples of terms. Terms are separated by plus signs and minus signs. So it's important that you always look at the sign on the left of each term so that you can tell whether or not it is positive or negative. Here's our rule for combining like terms. We can only combine like terms if they have the same variable, and it's written in all caps for a reason, the same variable raised to the same power. If they do not have the same variable raised to the same power, you can't combine them. All right, so here we've got six different terms, and we just want to make sure we understand which ones are alike. Which ones of these have the same variable raised to the same power? All right, so right here, 5w and negative 4w. Those are like terms because they both have a w, and the w's are to the same power. All right, I know the power is not written there. When it's not written there, it's actually to the first power. All right, so these are like terms. They are not alike with the negative 3w to the second power. I know they both have a w, but this is w to the second power, whereas the green ones are just w to the first power. And in order to be alike, it has to be same variable raised to the same power. 17x, there's nothing here that we can combine because nothing else has an x. And right here are negative 6 and our 4. These are like terms. I know, they don't have variables, but both of them not having a variable makes them the same. All right, they have the same variable, they both don't have one and obviously it's not to a power, but we can combine a 4 and a negative 6. We know how to do that. All right, so same variable raised to the same power. Let's look at some expressions, and we are going to simplify these expressions by combining the like terms. Pause it if you need to, to write these down before we get going. In example one, we have 3a plus 4b plus 5a plus 6b. What's alike here in this first problem? Well, the 3a and the 5a, and that 5a is positive. We're looking at the sign on the left. 3a is also positive. There's no sign on the left because it's the first number, so we know it's, uh, because it's the first term, so we know it's positive. 3a and 5a is 8a. All I did was the 3 plus 5 to get that 8a. What else is alike? Positive 4b, positive 6b. Well, what's 4b's and 6b's? That's 10b's. And it's positive. So 8a plus 10b. That's our answer. This is our um, simplified version. We can't do anything else with this because we don't know how much A is and we don't know how much B is. All we did was simplify. That's all we can do. Let's look at the next one. 9y plus 3y squared plus 4y squared minus 7y. What's alike? What are our like terms? We've got a positive 9y and a negative 7y. So a positive 9 and a negative 7. 9 minus 7 gives us 2 y's. 
And then these are like terms because they both have a y squared. Can't combine them with the green ones because the green ones are just y to the first power. These are y squared. And we've got a 3y squared and a 4y squared that's going to give us 7y squared. And that's it. We simplify. That's all we can do. We don't know how much y is, so we can't take it any further. A few more examples. Get a little trickier. A little more tricky. 5k minus 10 minus 8k plus 30k squared. Like terms, I have a positive 5k and looks like I have a negative 8k. I can't do the 30k squared because that has a squared. So 5 and a negative 8. Looks like the negatives are going to win by 3k. What else do I have? I have a negative 10. I might underline this time. Negative 10 and positive 7. Negative 10, positive 7. Negatives are going to win that too. Negatives win by 3. And then, oh, I also have this guy. My positive 30k squared. I couldn't combine that with anything. That's okay. It still is going to be a part of your simplified expression. Now, uh, one thing that's um, preferable to do when you are writing your expressions is you want to put things in the order of the greatest power first. So we've got a negative 3k, a negative 3 plus 30k squared. That k squared should come first. It's not wrong to leave it as it is but things that you're going to be doing in the future will be easier if you put things in a certain order. The 30k squared was positive. It's still positive when I rewrite. Next comes negative 3k. And then your last term should be your term without your variable. Now please understand, I changed the order but I did not change the sign of each term. That's very important. You can mix the numbers around, but you can't change which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Example 4, we need to use the distributive property before we can combine our like terms. So we're going to do 3 times g gives us 3g, and 3 times negative 4 gives us negative 12. Then we still have the minus 9g. Now that we've distributed, we can combine our like terms. We have a positive 3g and a negative 9g. 3 minus 9, the negatives are going to win by 6. And then we have a negative 12 left over. And that's as good as we can do right there. We don't know what g is. So we're all done. Okay, so when there's distributive property expressions, do that first before you start combining your like terms. One more example. Another one with distributive property. We're going to do 4 times r is 4r. And we're going to do 4 times 7 is a positive 28. Everything else stays the same. I'm not going to try and do too many steps at once. Now I've got five different terms ready to combine those. Looks like I've got a 4r, negative 9r, and a 5r. Those all have same variable raised to the same power. 4 minus 9 plus 5. You can throw that in your calculator if you need to, um, but right here we know negatives are going to win by 5. And oh, here we have additive inverses, which are 0. So actually, we don't have any R's. We have 0 R's, but we're not going to write that down. We're not going to write down 0 R, because we know 0 times anything is 0.
So let's combine our other like terms. We have positive 28 and negative 40. Positive 28, negative 40. Negatives are going to win by 12. And we didn't have any R's, so that's it. That's our simplified expression is negative 12. Write down any questions that you have. Come ready with your notes tomorrow. And we'll see you soon.